Good morning, everyone. Um, John and I are about to do a little prototype test here. We are about to put a uh, 700 king quad onto a tetrapod. Um, this is a preliminary test. We've added some flotation to uh, to our little tetrapod there. We got twice as many seats. Uh, we do have the added uh, outriggers, uh, which we've developed, and it creates uh, generates a lot more stability. Um, also, is there anything else, John? We've created some uh, planking just so we can, you know, basically land the quad onto the onto the tetrapod safely and stays there uh, good, I guess. <laughs> uh, you can make those plankings. I mean, using pl uh, plywood or we we're using two by tens here, which is probably overkill. Uh, but yeah, so I'm about to drive this thing on and uh, park it, and then John's going to go for a boot. <clears throat> Is on. Everybody must know where are you going to put the ramps? Well, guess what? Over here. Boom. Don't keep in mind, too, because you have, well, you're thinking of with the deck there, you can't get anything else in there. Well, if you pack wise enough, you can get all your gear underneath the decking. It takes a little more work. Uh, you ready? You want me to push you off then, John? Yeah, we could use that push, I think. Okay. Here we go. Just in case this goes south, we've added our little float bottle so we can still retrieve my quad at the bottom of the pond. Oh yeah. You're sitting really good. You've got at least 12 inches of gunnel there. That looks awesome. Keep in mind, the 700 King Quad is obviously a bigger quad. If you had a little 350 of some sort, you'd have no problem. Hey, you want me to get on? Land hole. Should I get on? Okay. Ain't I'm, gonna hurt nothing. I'm gonna go. I'll leave my phone on land though. side of the lake and you want to go quadding again well you need the trailer right but you can just tow that behind the uh, behind the tetrapod it actually floats so you can have everything or make two trips or make two <laughs> trips yeah 
The other thing as well is, well, where do I keep these pontoons or these outriggers? Well, actually, we designed them so they'll actually fit in the cargo rack that goes on top of the tetrapod lid. So there's storage there as well. Preliminary testing done, now we're going to the big lake. We'll see you in a few.